get ready for the dictation start budget this year is woven into three major themes aspirational india economic development and a caring society in line with the prime minister's dream of sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas addressing the aspirations of india it aims to provide better standards of living through improved access to health and education furthering sustainable growth and economic development it aims to promote the private sector and ensures we develop a harmonious and caring society which looks after each individual's needs and benefits the agriculture and allied activities sector in the recent past has been going through several ups and downs however the government remains committed towards the target of doubling farmers income by 2022 the budget highlights 16 action points which cover almost all aspects of the agriculture and allied activities sector there remains a high disconnect between the agricultural output and low farmer income due to supply bottlenecks the budget aims to provide support for an end to end value chain and puts emphasis on warehouse storage and development significant attention has been given to the development of the blue economy and through that india's coastal regions the move to create a cold supply chain and launching refrigerated coaches with the help of indian railways is a welcome move towards improving the self life of perishable produce this budget recognizes the need to keep pace with frontier technologies i strongly believe the upcoming policy to enable the private sector to build data center parks and create a national mission on quantum technologies will ensure india is well placed and geared up for the next industrial revolution service sectors constitute a major share of the economy and these steps are sure to boost growth in these areas especially the it services it is estimated that within the next decade india would have the largest working age population we can only reap the benefits of this demographic dividend if we take the necessary steps now it is important to note that while having a large labor force is advantageous appropriate skilling is crucial for improving productivity this would be addressed by the new education policy the prime minister has strongly advocated entrepreneurship and startups for driving growth and india has emerged as a major startup ecosystem globally to further encourage this movement the budget has made provisions to provide tax relief in esops employ stock ownership plan held by employees in startups likewise the government's decision to set up a seed fund to support startups in their early stages should provide immense boost to budding entrepreneurs the government has introduced several measures for the financial sector an important step is opening up of the bond markets to foreign investors and extending the investment limit in outstanding corporate bonds by fpis to 15% from the current 9% moreover after the unprecedented success of the bharat bond exchange traded fund the government also plans to launch a new debt etf comprising primarily of government securities 
द बेंच मार्क टेन ईयर बॉन्ड वुड बी ए ग्रेट प्लेस टू स्टार्ट गिवेन इट्स हाई लिक्विडिटी दीज स्टेप्स विल हेल्प टू इंक्रीज द डेप्थ ऑफ द बॉन्ड मार्केट एंड प्रोवाइडिंग फाइनेंशियल इंटरमीडियरीज वाइबल ऑप्शंस फॉर फंडिंग देयर बाय रिड्यूसिंग देयर डिपेंडेंस ऑन शेड्यूल्ड कॉमर्शियल बैंक्स स्टॉक